As we have seen in our previous lecture, the operating system is an interface between the user of a computer system and the resources of the system. So then what is the kernel? The kernel is the core component of the operating system. We know that the operating system is a software. So that part of this software which is taking care of the absolute essential functions which the operating system is performing, that part is known as the kernel. So again, operating system is a software and the kernel is that part of the software which takes care of the important necessary tasks of the operating system. Also, the kernel is the first program of the operating system to be loaded. When the system is booted up and the bootloader loads the operating system, then the kernel is the part of the operating system which is loaded into the memory. This kernel is always resident in the memory as long as the system is working. And this part of the operating system which is the kernel has direct access to the hardware. Now we know that the operating system is one large program and it is consisting of codes for various tasks it is performing. So it will be comprising of modules for different tasks. If there is any update in one part of the module in any particular module then this whole operating system will have to be updated. So this becomes difficult to maintain. Also there might be trust issues between the modules of the system. So another way of implementing this operating system is to use the modular approach. Here the modules are implemented and maintained independently. So there might be a module for the browser and there might be a separate module for the mp3 encoder and the operating system kernel that interacts with these independent modules through device drivers. So all these modules will be implemented separately and the kernel is the only one which would be interacting with the hardware. Now we know that the users and the operating system, they will be sharing the hardware and the software resources of the system. So while the operating system is allowed to control or access the user resources, the users should not be allowed to access the operating system or the resources of the system. That means we should ensure that any program which is running on the system, it cannot cause any other program or the operating system to execute incorrectly. That program should not have access to any other program or to the operating system or to access to the system resources. But how can the system distinguish between the execution of the OS or the user? How does the system know that whether the OS code is running or whether the user defined code is running? For this, there is the facility of dual mode operation. That means the system works in two modes, dual mode. So those two modes are either the system will be in the user mode or the system will be in the kernel mode. So what is this dual mode operation? There is a mode bit which is provided by the hardware. This mode bit provides the ability to distinguish when the system is running the user code or the kernel code. So there is a bit in the hardware and the, whether the bit is set or it is reset that defines whether the system is in the user code or whether it is running the kernel code. Now the user cannot access the mode bit. So the user does not have any control over the mode bit. 
otherwise the user if it had control over the mode bit it could change the mode bit only the operating system can change the mode of this bit to the kernel or change it back to the user mode also the instructions which are run by the kernel they are termed as privileged instructions and they can be executed only in the kernel mode so suppose we have the user process which is running and this process is executing if in any case it wants to use the resources of the system it will have to request the operating system any request the user process makes to the kernel is referred to as the system call so when the user process was executing it was in the user mode the system was in the user mode and the mode bit was 1 when the system wants to use the system resources it will have to request the operating system to operate on its behalf and this request will be called the system call when there will be a system call now it this system call will be through means of a trap and now since the operating system will take over and the kernel code will run so the mode of the system would be kernel mode and the mode bit will now change from 1 to 0 that shows that now the system has turned from the user mode to the kernel mode once this happens the system call will be executed and whatever is required by the operating system to be done for that particular system call that part of the request will be taken care of and then there would be a return back to the user program so once the kernel has finished doing this task or it has taken care of this trap it will go back to the user mode once it returns from the system call the mode bit will again go back from 0 to 1 which will tell the system that it is back to running the user code now so this is how the dual mode operation takes place and the system very clearly knows whether it is running a user code or whether it is running the kernel code so at the system boot time the system the hardware always starts in the kernel mode once the operating system is loaded it will start the applications and when those user applications start the mode of the system will be changed to user mode that means mode bit will be set to 1 here in the kernel mode the mode bit is set to 0 whenever any trap or interrupt occurs that means whenever the user wants to use the services of the operating system it will send a system call or if there is any other interrupt now the hardware will switch from the user to the kernel mode again and if there is a switch from the user to kernel mode that means the kernel code now has to run so the operating system will gain control of the computer once the system kernel or the operating system has taken care of that service taken care of that request it will switch back to the user mode before passing control to the user program